Hello, you welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Park Attack, where we're going to attempt one of the two beach scenarios. Uh, right then, a few bit. Oh, oh, let me just do a spinny, 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 spinny. Wee. Um, okay, so actually, it, it was pretty much 50 50, to be honest, for which one to play. Most people were happy for going either, or the ones that were specific, it kind of all came out, came out in the end. Um, the one that sounds quite interesting, though, is. Um, uh, well, they both do, but somebody somebody said that Habico Harbour is good because Biscayne Beach is similar-ish to the airport one, other than the fact that you can't pay for the rides, I think, that one. So, to be honest with you, I'm going to do both, and I think, actually, like I might finish after both with the campaign, for a little while at least, and move into a sandbox park, because I really want to get into there. But for now, we'll start Happico and uh, and see how we get on. Uh, this one, I think, it's all got to be about making the place look nice. Um, because it can, uh, invitation does not revoke contractual obligations. Happy Co waivers liability the occasion of retinal damage caused by prolonged exposure to said structures. So, three coasters with good excitement, high decoration rating, and 600 guests in the park. That's not so bad. But I think the key thing here, let's have a look. Um, decoration source of bad decoration all of these all of these have a bad decoration rating so where where do we actually build the rides wow this is oh no there's the entrance sorry oh okay so this is the space we've got that's the space we've got that's it and we've got to get three coasters in there and completely cover up all of this nastiness Wow, this is going to be a bit of a tough one. All right, okay, well, let's just turn them off for a moment. Uh, lots of path here that I don't like the look of. All right, okay, so, hmm, I think then one coaster along the back here. Let, first of all, what coasters do we have available? Because we, we've only got steel and a woody. We're going to have to get a research team straight away working on coasters because we don't want to just build the same coaster over and over again um otherwise then let's clear out some of this path work a bit then because that's not not great is it all that kind of wasted space to be honest there we go there we go um all of that's very nasty to look at so what we'll do is have uh, do you know what let's do a proper main street let's just go main street there deliveries down the back of it um, coaster here that maybe cups around a little bit around the back of the deliveries. Yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. Okay, so let's drag this right up here. Okay. Um, and let's do, see if we can squeeze in an out and back, or there and back, whatever you want to call it, wooden coaster.
There we go. That wasn't so bad. It, it looks a bit funky, but you know, it's got quite a good footprint. Um, no, I don't mind that. It's probably the quickest coaster I've ever built. I don't, if you notice that it didn't quite hit the 50 mark, it was like 48 or something. So all I did um, was have another go at the lift hill and put it on that really steep lift hill, which is pretty crazy. But it just gave us that little extra height to get it up to 52. So just about comes in as a um, as a winner winner chicken dinner, and it covers up a bit of the bit of this now. I mean, obviously all this here is going to be. Uh, pretty crazy, um, but we'll see how we get on. Station-wise, we're going to have to take into account that a good chunk of the station is going to be covered by the track. But we'll um, we're good to go. Let's uh, pause the game for a second. Um, we'll get this open and running and earning money, and then we'll put a couple of... In fact, no, actually, let's get it open and running now. And we'll stick some flats down and see if we can actually start getting some income um, coming in, because otherwise we're going to... Well, we're going to struggle, to be honest. This is the way to go, I think. Um, tell you what, from there... There we go. Yeah, there we go. That works quite nicely as an entrance. Exit. We're probably going to have to come round... Something like that, I think. There we go. And then it being too crazy, we can sort of box all that in there, I think. And then the coaster kind of goes right over the top of these people's heads. But that's okay. I think that'd be cool. It is it is what it is. We're very short on space. Now, um, uh, costing is 1.5... Divided by 10. So if the, if the excitement is 50 times 1.5 is 75 divided by 10. So, seven, so 750 I can charge for that? That seems that seems very low. But I'm pretty sure that's what I read was correct. I think a lot of people are still kind of guessing, to be honest, as to how much uh, stuff is actually going. Okay, so let's have a look. Threading flats. Oh, we've got a few to choose from here. Oh, we'll get a launch drop tear in there. They're pretty good uh, bang for your buck. Um... We'll go right up against the edge here because not going to be much else we can get in. Launch drop terror, throw it right up there. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Um, we'll have our entrance to that here. Exit there. All right, and then we'll queue it right around here. It's got a bit of coaster interaction. Um, in fact, let's queue to there. And I've just realised we've made all of this uh, not be... We need that to be a double path, really. And that as well. There we go. So that can get open. Yeah, it is open. Uh, one more, do you reckon? One more flat. Let's throw in, we've got 10 grand. Let's throw another flat down. Um, they're pretty cheap, aren't they? About 1500 There we go. Uh, Enterprise, pretty good flat ride. So again, so good uh, good interaction with the uh, queues and, and waiting areas and stuff. Let's go there. And we'll put the entrance over here. Exit that side. We'll sort the pricing out on all these ones in a little while. Uh, oh, that's what I meant to do. I would say that's probably acceptable for a queue. Okay, so, I mean, bare bones. Bare bones we can open, I reckon. So, I think we can actually close the park, didn't we? There we go. Open the park. Um, okay, and then while that's opening, hopefully starting to bring a few quid in, we'll start sorting out some food and drink stalls. So it's definitely going to have to be here under the uh, under the coaster. Reminds me a little bit of um, of Mass Bandit's uh, Surfside uh, Pleasure Pier that had some shops under the uh, under the uh, coaster there that was pretty cool. So we've got pizza, we've got soft drinks. That seems to be the main food ones. We've also got cotton candy. Uh, we'll also get a balloons in there as well and try and somebody that way. So let's go one. Oh, I wanted to put down more than that. Two. Oh, really won't let me believe it. I thought, is it control then maybe? Three. No, no. 
none of them let me put down multiple. Uh, that's obviously not right. Let's try that again. Boom. Okay. So, get a bit of wooden pathing there in front of you to say that you're open. And then some staff pathing at the rear. Uh, we're going to go straight from delivery to you bad boys there. Now, I can pretty much just stick a hauler there and they will they will just keep keep filling up these little four shops so talking of filling them up let's give them products so pizza um soft drinks uh have we got umbrellas <laughs> let's do umbrellas instead of banana instead of balloons bananas i was gonna say then uh cotton candy there we go get in there by yourself some umbrellas when you can that hauler will keep themselves super busy. If we could sneak a, a staff room in here as well, that'd be pretty sweet. And then we haven't got that much space to cover up then, is what I'm thinking. Staff room in there as well, because while they're on the coaster, they won't care. Uh, but have you, you've, got, you've got your stock, have you? Stock, you've got 100 ca cotton candies there. Good stuff. Go for it. People are riding the rides. People are riding the Enterprise. Okay, what do you think of the Enterprise? I want to go on it. That's fine. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at, look at decoration here. Yeah, not too happy about the whole decoration. Uh, mostly because I assume you can see that. Interestingly, though, this coaster has seemed to cut off the issue with that, which is good. Um, that's good to know. I didn't know. I didn't think rides did it, actually. So first things first, then. Let's box in this building down here. I want to go for... I, I'm thinking end of the pier, even though it's not quite a seaside pier. Um, I do think... Uh, I want to do for, like, white wood and stuff. In fact, that was one thing I was doing when I built the coaster. I was thinking to myself, I want to make it... Uh, I want to make the coaster uh, a white... A white woody. Look like sort of faded, faded wood, you know, like it's, it's looking a little old now, a little tired. Could do the, could do the liquor paint. There we go. Uh, maybe that one needs to be like it's been painted red. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, that's good. Seaside, eh? Okay. Let's head down here then. You're just having a little look at the coaster, are you? That's fine. Right. Uh, walls. There is a wooden wall that I reckon we could probably paint white and it'll look pretty smart. Let's keep going. Here it is. This one here. So let's make that white with uh, red arches. That's good. Um, let's do something like this. Okay. Uh, half wall. Because I don't want it to. I, I'm happy for the uh, supports to go into the. Uh, oops. Into the building there. But I don't want them just sort of hovering. So if we do that. There we go. And one there as well. And then put the regular wall in. In the right colour. Either side. There we go. It's gotta be it's gotta be a sturdy looking building this has. So roofs. Um I'm thinking almost like an industrial type roof. This this flat one'll do. Take the colour out of it a little. There we go. Uh, bring that up. There we go. Yeah, good. Um, actually, this half wall is probably good to go along there. And the box that in a little bit, and then uh, some sort of overhang. What have we got? Probably all the industrial stuff, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. The, this sort of awning. Yeah, there we go. There we go, very seasidey. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. Um, so, pretty much, we're just going to duplicate that round. 
and we'll just box all of this in because all of those staff and the hauler can get to everything they could ever need so we're pretty much just going to encase this whole thing as a box keep it simple stupid oh god that woman said like she wasn't having the best of times i've noticed that in this the uh the screams are intense <laughs> i don't know whether it's intentional or just uh you know this, this, this that was who they got to do the sound design but my words yes the uh, the screams in this are this looks so blackpool i'm sorry this looks this looks so blackpool just shops stuck into there like that i feel like a little bit of detail would be nice what if we got um and not really into the pipes and stuff that doesn't that's not really where i want to go with it uh wind socks i guess they're pretty uh um they're pretty nautical i guess so the semi nautical there we go uh oh let me to do that um regular flags as well uh clock uh, yeah 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 clock that's a good one That's good. Like a big sign would be good. There's not many signs in the game right now. They've got like the over the over the path signage, but not much else. There we go. Now, let's have a look how we're getting on here. People are riding stuff. Let's check we're doing okay for prices. Uh, I want to go on it. It was awesome. I want something more intense. That's fine. Over here, I want to go on it. That's fine. And over here, uh, I want to go on it. Okay, so price-wise, we seem to be okay. We are absolutely hemorrhaging cash, though. Like, I've never... I can't believe. I, sh I hope that's down to just building. Um, the research cost us 200. Let's have a look. Apart from that... Um, other. The others were, were quite expensive. I guess others are cost. Ride maintenance. Ride admission. Okay, so at the moment, ride admission is... is uh, in April, at least, he's taken over from ride maintenance. That's good. But other than that, I don't know how we're, how we're getting on. This seems to be a popular one. It's just it's getting people in the building, to be honest, in the park. They don't seem to be too keen on uh, on joining in right now. Let us uh, let's have another look at this decoration problem. So over all that's gone now. We've got this area here. Which I assume is is this it's this bit that's getting that's being a bother. That's going to be a real bother there, isn't it? I don't know how we're going to do that unless we completely encase. Well, that's going to be encased. This might have to encase as well. I'll be honest with you. What all I was planning on doing here was was some funky pavilion work using our uh, our old favourite. The uh, well, actually, we love all the pavilions, don't we? But what I was thinking was a red and white uh, pattern here. Would work quite nicely. It's pretty cheap to do, and looks very uh, seasidey. So that was the plan. Although well, maybe not not there. So then we'll bring it into more of a off white. Okay, that does very little. To the uh, let's hold on, hide scenery. Oh, 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 it's updating, it's updating. That has started to take the edge off. All right, I think then, um, a little bit of planting along the back here, maybe even we could. I mean, we could kind of goose it with a fence, couldn't we? We could just use the old, uh, the old big fence here, like that, and really, really goose the numbers. But I think I don't really see another way of doing it. If we do like that, like it's the edge of the park anyway, you know. How's that doing there? Hide scenery. Still red, but being thought about. Let's do some uh, trees then. What have we got for? What have we got nice trees going on. Oh, all the trees are always a lot. I quite like that. That's a neat feature. So I'm thinking we go some lovely firs or pines or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, well, they are called firs. Um, that one and oh yeah, poplars. They're good. And 
And I've just realised they may well be seeing uh, negative space from elsewhere as well. Let's have a look. Here's that look. See, I think that looks pretty good. We, we're going to have to change the uh, the terrain there because currently we've got. Uh, let's do dirt. Let's do it like it's a proper planter. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's good. With with uh, th this doesn't cost us, does it? The the terrain. Um, what? I don't think it's. Yeah, it doesn't actually cost us to do this. So I kind of like the idea of having the uh, having it basically uh, tarmacked throughout. If it's not costing us anything to do, I'm happy to go with that as a narrative. Proper sort of uh, black pull it up. And then we'll get a border piece. There, where are they? Borders. Borders is borders. And we'll make them a nice white. Um, and they can go along here to kind of uh, to border the uh, the dirty bit. There we go. We don't use terrain paints enough, I don't think. I think this is the first time I've ever really messed with them. There we go. And there, that looks like it's just actual sort of planted area that's meant to be like that, as opposed to just being random grass. Let's have a look. Decor decoration, high scenery. It's better. It's better, but they're still not quite happy about what they're looking at, uh, based on I assume. This this horrible building here, but all we can really do there is build up uh, the, the 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 station buildings and, and kind of hope for the best. So let's just turn all these off a little bit, and it'd be a nice surprise for us now. <laughs> Next time we look, see whether any of this has any of this has worked. I I def definitely want to keep the white wood uh, going as a narrative. So let's put that there, there, there. We're basically just gonna box this in, very traditional. Uh, cheap, cheap wooden coaster. Uh, yeah, that's it basically. Very, very traditional cheap wooden coaster. I guess we're gonna have to try. Oh, problem is that bit, that bit there is gonna really mess us up. Uh, how can we do it? Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. We'll keep that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll keep that flat. So we'll put these in. Even though these aren't really gonna do anything for us. There we go. Well, we keep those in. Right there, we've done those ones already. Okay, so we'll put them there. Uh, here, we'll have some windows, I think. Um, let's do two windows there. Two windows there. Um, oh, we've still got this area here. Two, two, and two. Uh, okay. There and there. Okay, so... So here's where the station is. I think we've kind of got... Oh no, there's a couple of gaps there. This is tricky to do. Alright, uh, there. Okay. That's the box. Now, window... Wrong piece. Where's a... Oh, there's no wooded window. Okay, well, we'll use the door frame, because that'll make a good... Uh, Nice big wide windows anyway, so that's fine. Like so. Oh, we missed a couple uh, there. Okay. So that is uh, what it is there. We're going to need the roof piece that we've got over here. Okay. Oh, I've just realised this roof piece may well kill someone. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's going to kill someone. Alright, so we can't put that there. We probably can't get away with it there either, but there we can. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just box in this bit. These two, where the coaster sits on top of them. There we go. Okay. Yeah, got it. Right, then uh, we're going to carry on here. I know it's like people look pretty drab. Is that just because they've got nowhere to sit? Uh, there, like that. Okay. And then here, we'll do 
a bit more of the sort of what you would expect a wooden station to whoops to look like. I mean, I know, I know we're getting a little tall here, and I uh, for that I can only apologise. Yeah, you're getting a little tall there. In fact, I think, I think probably they would be better off as as wall pieces. Now we've now we've done that. Yeah. Okay. And then roof pieces will have a, a nice tiered red roof. Let's have a look. Yes, that one there. Slightly off red. There we go. People seem to be pretty happy about this ride. They're coming off it and they're all chuffed about it. There we go. Yeah, alright. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. And then here we will continue this roof. And maybe there are a couple of odd roof bits that might work as a, just a bit of detail. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not. So no. Oh, we don't have any mechanics, I don't think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, we'll make this work. That can go there. A uh, little bit like Big Dipper. At Blackpool, it's got like this weird structure that doesn't really have any purpose other than looking a bit colourful. I think that was something broke down. We don't currently have uh, either janitors or mechanics and uh, seats, trash cans, bins, all that sort of stuff as well. So let us fix that problem. Let's go to fences, let's go to curbs. Okay, so all of this bit here, I kind of want to patented. Seats, seats, another guff set up. So benches. Uh, just want quite a plain bench, I think. That one will do. Okay, so we start off with some. Yeah, they're all ex everyone's exhausted. Look, but that's guy like I really do like how there's you get some sort of proper sort of visual feedback. Okay, so there's there's your benches. Uh, next, and most important one are trash cans. Um, let's go for a, a steel trash can. There we go. And then here we'll go trash, 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 and then lamps. The other side. Again, we'll kind of play up the. Uh, uh, seaside pier kind of style that we're trying to go for a little probably get a flat ride in there and finally we'll take that lovely red awning we've got from here use it across here to kind of break up that huge swathe of white right this is like Style, function over style, really. I'm not massively happy with how it's turned out, but hopefully it's done the job for us. Um, we're really tight on spaces, so we can't go as grandiose as I like, but I definitely think it's got that kind of crap seaside park feel to it, which is important. Let's have a look. Decoration, hide scenery. It's still this bit here. They're just not happy about it. Can only assume they're either cl clicking through to a bit there or it's a bit there and it's just the the, the, the trees aren't aren't doing enough uh, I mean there's this high fence as well will that make any difference because if it will I'll happily sort of border that like it's like that like it's a design consideration um, and maybe some more trees Maybe some more trees, which a tree haven't we? Oh my god, they're pretty big, aren't they? Uh, let's go for a small version of that one. Yeah, really, really sort of heavily, heavily forest this little little spot. Let's have a little hide scenery. Just it hasn't got better, has it? it? Must be from somewhere else. They're spotting. It won't come down this far. Could be down there could be down there. Let's just try 
uh, with the terrain tool and the dirt. Let's turn off decoration. Let's try a little bit of a continuation of this here. Let's just see if it does actually make any difference. Oops, get rid of the hide scenery. There we go. And then we'll put that around there. Get rid of that bit. There we go. Get rid of that border. There we go. And drop them in. Uh, pick up that fence. Drop that in. And let's just see if that little bit of extra greenery around the back here is enough to fix our issues. And also, you know what? It's just going to look nice for people on the ride, isn't it? There we go. That could have been it. If that was it, I'd be happy. Let's have a look. No. They're just not happy about it at all, are they? They can see something. It must just be because that tall bit there. Maybe it's just one of the things that we've got to deal with. Maybe it's one of the things that we're just going to have to cope with without building silly walls all the way up the side, which I don't want to try and keep a little bit of realism, you know? So look at that. Uh, I want to go on it still. Yeah, no mentions of price anywhere. I hope it is worth a long queue time. I'm not going to wait any longer. Ooh. Well, what can I do about that? Nothing really. And here, I want to go on it, and it's awesome. Okay, so maybe the price was right then, yeah. But at least people can sit down there. We're back. We're slowly in profit. So at least in the next episode, we can uh, extrapolate on that. I'm tempted to just throw another flat there. Simple twister here would not go amiss, I don't think. Um, entrance and exit there. Path can carry on out to it. Uh, Q can go like that. There we go. And we'll open that. Boom. Just to help bring in a bit of cash. A few more people. They pretty much come in based on the number of rides. Um, that did unlock a coaster before. What was it? Hydraulically launched coaster. So, yeah, we're building Blackpool. That's going to be Icon, isn't it? We're going to build Icon down here. Um, oh, this bit of extra land, is that a goal to get that? Optional. Uh, complete all non-optionals by May Year 3. No, I guess not. So at some point we can look at purchasing land as well. be really interested to see if we can squeeze in two more coasters with an excitement of 50. Man, it's going to be tough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can uh, give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. Fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekers and Community, you can do so over on our Geekers and Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much to all of our patrons. Uh, they make these videos possible through their generous support at patreon.com slash geekism. Don't forget to check out our affiliate links to get yourself some cheap games and other goodies while supporting the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.